All right. Awesome, everybody. We're going to get started here, and we're going to inst uh, start installing malware for fun. And we're going to see how Panda does. I've actually edited my links. I found some more. Uh, I edited out some duplicates because I realized there were some. And I also downloaded Combo Fix and Malwarebytes set up so that we can run scans if Panda fails. Alright, let's get started here. We'll open up Internet Explorer. Open up our malware. We'll start here. This one's a rogue. It's uh, in the spyware warrior family or whatever you call it. And because this is going to take a long time to download and we're going to be efficient here, we're going to start installing other malware. And we're just going to lob some junk at the system here. Fast pace so Panda doesn't get a break. It really has to keep going and, and fight the stuff off. So far it hasn't been doing much fighting. It's just sitting there chewing its bamboo. That's what pandas on the task tray do. This is uh, anti-aid we're going to install here. There we go. That's nice. Keep going here. All right. Panda has caught this one. I can tell because it isn't able to run and another program is using the file. Soon Panda is going to pop up and it's going to say a virus has been neutralized and yep, there we go. Right on cue. We keep going here. Whoops. It's not what I meant. And we can get rid of that face. Alright, that's better. Now we'll just keep going here. Okay, Panda's getting that one too. Just keep running files here. Panda got that one. All right, and keep going here. Panda got that one. These are really new right at the bottom here. These are the ones I just picked up. So these could very well get right past Panda. That was not this one, by the way. That was the other one. This one will run that. All right, that probably just installed a million root kits in the System32 drive. Panda got that one. Thumbs up there. And we'll run this. And we'll start with this one, too. Panda got that. Run this. Panda got that one. And we'll finish with this one. Darn it, it's not copying. Copy. Hang on, we're going to restart the browser. There's a lot of work being done on my system here. The mouse is blinking. Darn it. Something's messing with the system because Internet Explorer is not copying anymore. There we go. Got it in. We'll run this. And Panda picked that one up too. Yeah. And let's just run anti-aid here because that didn't seem to start on its own. Well, it looks like anti-aid picked up more uh, 
more infections than Panda did. Um, probably what Panda missed, so that's pretty good. <laughs> if we look at our processes, we have a ton of crap running. Um, we have 31, we started with 25, and it's just an absolute massacre here. Alright, I am going to not even bother with a scan with Panda because I know it will not pick anything up. We're going to start right with MBAM, and I'm going to be right back when Malwarebytes finishes scanning. Okay, just wanted to show you here, uh, as I was running the malware byte scan, sp scan uh, the malware started taking effect here. If we notice, my desktop has been wiped. Some malware's been doing a really great job cleaning up after my messy self, and it's decided that I'd do better with a clean blue desktop. So, that's one thing that's changed. And as far as I can tell, it's probably downloading more malware. Alright, and Malwarebytes has already found six, 16 things too, by the way. So... Yeah. That's a... that's, um... a mess. I'm gonna pause again here. All right, malware bytes is done here. We found 31 items. As I was watching it scan, I did notice that it skipped over several items. Um, I'm going to be using combo fix to scan for the rest. We will take a look at the results here. If we look, we have some fake alerts, rogues, trojans, uh, fun stuff. And if we look at where they are, uh, documents and settings, temp. Um, some temp stuff, program file stuff. All right. The stuff it was skipping over was System32 stuff, and that seems to be what Malwarebytes is missing right now. It's probably going to ask me to reboot. Uh, 15 files infected. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, yeah, it needs me to reboot, so we'll click Yes, and we will restart. Uh, when we boot back up, I'm going to start with a combo fix scan, and we're going to take a look at those results, too. All right. I'll be back then. Okay, awesome. We've got a combo fix here, and combo fix has deleted a lot. Let's start here. Up here, this is where the deletions start, and let's scroll down. Still deletions. It's still deleting, and the deletions stop here. So that's this many uh, rootkits or something coming out of the System32 and the Windows directory. And, well, all I can say is Panda let this stuff uh, infect the system. Panda let this many files infect the system from just a few URLs and that's just a lesson to pay attention to you know you let one thing through and then the whole system goes amiss so I will say that Panda Cloud Antivirus is not something I'd trust yet it's definitely something maybe you want to play with on a virtual machine or whatever just to see how much malware you can get while using an antivirus but it's not something I'd use to prevent malware yet it just lets too much happen and it's just too weak uh, so I'd, I'd get a good antivirus like Avira or Avast or Microsoft Security Essentials and use that I think this definitely needs work alright thanks for watching everybody uh, bye bye